Imagine being able to run one of the best video generation models on your own computer. And not just that, doing it on a low VRAM machine, completely free, without paying for expensive video generation websites. Even better, you still get outstanding performance and high quality results. The videos you're watching right now were actually generated by an open source model called WAN 2.2. WAN 2.2 stands shoulder to shoulder with top tier models like VO3 and Kling. And in this lesson, we'll learn how to run it locally on a machine with as little as 6 gigabytes of GPU VRAM. Before we dive in, you can also try WAN 2.2 directly on their website. It supports text to video, image to video, and even a brand new feature, speech to video. Now here's the exciting part. Because WAN 2.2 is open source, its source code is fully available on GitHub. That means you can run it locally, completely free, with no restrictions. And not only that, WAN 2.2 comes in multiple versions, so you can choose the one that fits your needs best. Recently, WAN 2.2 introduced an exciting new feature called Speech to Video. This lets you combine a single image with an audio track and turn them into a video with outstanding results. Alright, let's see the Speech to Video feature in action. A hundred miles, a hundred miles, rolling tracks and... Pretty awesome, right? The sun sinks low behind the hill The air turns cold The output looks incredibly realistic. The character even syncs perfectly with the audio, thanks to the built-in lip-sync feature. And the best part is you have full control. You can experiment as much as you like, creating unlimited videos until you get the perfect result. Alright, there's so much to explore with video generation. So I'm making this into a full series, where we'll learn how to create realistic videos with complete control. In this video, we're focusing on text-to-video using WAN 2.2's 5B model. This model can generate up to 5 seconds of video in 720p, at 24 frames per second, with smooth motion and excellent prompt understanding. It's actually the fastest model available in WAN 2.2, and the best part is, it only needs a minimum of 6GB of GPU VRAM to run. For this demo, I'll be testing it on my own PC, which has 8GB of VRAM, to see how well it performs. Now to make it run efficiently on low VRAM, and to keep things simple for experimenting with other open source models, we're going to use an open source repo called WAN2GP. WAN2GP is designed for fast video generation on low VRAM GPUs. It also supports multiple tasks like image to video, video to video, video dubbing, and more. Don't worry, we'll cover all of those features in future videos. But for now, let's run the text to video process using WAN2.2. The first step is to install Conda. Conda is a widely used environment manager in the data science community, especially with Python. It makes it super easy to install libraries and dependencies for AI projects. So head over to the Conda website and download it for your operating system. In this video, I'll be running everything on Windows with an NVIDIA GPU. That's important because most AI models run fastest and most reliably on NVIDIA cards. Technically, you can run this on other setups, like Apple Silicon M4 chips. But just know, they'll be about 10 times slower compared to an NVIDIA GPU. Alright, once Conda is installed, and after updating your NVIDIA drivers, the next step is to check your GPU. In my case, I'm running an RTX 2080 with 8GB of VRAM. That should be more than enough for this tutorial. Now let's create a new folder to store our project. Then we'll follow the documentation provided by WAN2GP to install it. The docs give us a clear list of commands. First, clone the WAN2GP project. Then create and activate a new Conda environment called WAN2GP. And finally, install all the necessary packages inside that environment. Let's go ahead and run those commands in the terminal. And whenever you see prompts asking for confirmation, just type yes. Once the installation is complete, the next step is simple. We'll use Python to run the wgp.py file. This will start the project and launch the appropriate UI for us. You'll then be able to access that UI locally through the provided link. Looks like we've successfully loaded the WAN2GP interface. From here, we can configure and test any of the supported features and models. 
WAN 2.2 actually comes in several versions you can experiment with. And WAN 2GP also supports older models like WAN 2.1, plus other video generation tools. For now, let's stick with the latest version, WAN 2.2. Specifically, we'll choose the fast WAN text-to-video 5B model. Here, you can enter your own prompt for generation, or if you'd like, just leave the default prompt for testing. The model supports up to N80 resolution, but for speed, let's start with 480p. By default, it generates 5-second clips at 24 frames per second. That means we're working with about 121 frames per video. And here's another cool detail, WAN 2.2 also supports generating videos up to 15 seconds long, which we'll be testing at the end of this tutorial. For now, simply hit Generate to start the video creation process. On the very first generation, the project needs to download all the necessary packages and models. So expect the first 5 second video to take around 10 minutes. But after that initial setup, the speed improves dramatically. Alright, the video looks realistic, cinematic, just awesome. Remember the first run took about 10 minutes since it had to download all the model files. Now let's try the second run and see how much faster it gets. From the second generation onward, a 5 second clip takes only about 3 minutes. We even pushed it further and tested a video with 337 frames, which equals about 15 seconds of footage. And guess what? It completed in just a little over 6 minutes, all running on a GPU with 8GB of VRAM. That's pretty awesome performance for a setup this lightweight. Alright, that's just the beginning of our video generation series. From here we'll dive deeper into every aspect of video generation. Step by step, from running models locally, to deploying on GPU cloud services to scale up, we'll explore how to create production quality, realistic, and cinematic videos, all with full control. Pretty awesome, right? So if you're looking to level up your automation and AI skill set, join us inside the Zero2 Launch Premium Community.